In this video, I'll be showing you how to transfer any type of files over from your phone to your Vita without any type of wire. The first things we're going to do is go ahead and open Vita Shell. Once Vita Shell is open, go ahead and click the start menu on your Vita. This menu should pop up. Go ahead and go to select button and make sure it's from USB to FTP. Once this is done, go ahead and uh, back out of this and then click the select button on the Vita. Once you do that, this menu should pop up. There's going to be a list of numbers and that's going to be useful. So make sure you memorize them or just leave the screen open. The next step is I'm going to go, to, go ahead and go over to my phone and you're going to have to download a FTP manager app. Once you're on your phone, go ahead and download any type of FTP manager app. I just downloaded this one. So once you open it, go ahead and click on the plus button and then click FTP. Okay, now for the display name, go ahead and just name it PS Vita or whatever you guys want. Now for the host name, you're going to get these numbers on your Vita when you click the select button. So for mine, it's going to be 192.168.1.213. Do not put in the last four digits, which is 1337. With that number, we're going to go ahead and put that on the port. So again, 137, and that should be the fully set up. So you guys don't want to change any of the other settings or just leave them blank. Then click on the save button. Now go ahead and click on it. And then obviously you got to have the select button active and then click OK on there. Then you should see all your files. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and transfer over a picture to my UXO file. So let me go ahead and grab that. All right, once you grab your image, make sure you share it to the FTP manager. Now go ahead and click on connections and then put it, the file on whatever one you want. For me, I'm going to go ahead and use the UXO. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the download section and then click save. And then all we have to do now is just wait until it transfers over, which it has already done. Now let's go back on the PS Vita. Right now I'm going to go ahead and check if the file did transfer over. So I did download it in my download section. So I'm going to go ahead and check there and it should be right here. Boom. So this is a great method to transfer any type of files. You can use this for game files, basically anything. It's just another way of transferring files over from your phone to your Vita. So if you don't have a comp computer, this is very useful. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.